So the SCAD event is obviously uh, the conference where, which is embedded with our MSc AI and Data Science course. So it means all our graduates will have to have a taste of how to actually attend a conference and share their work with, with the international world or with the media community. The rationale behind the event is obviously to help our students uh, familiarise themselves with the external world and then improve uh, the exposure in context of having to share knowledge, uh, particularly new knowledge, uh, with people of different uh, background or different disciplinary understanding. Today I was presenting my project on the conference. So the, my project was on the British Sign Language, so I labelled it as Handchat. So it can automatically detect the signs which a signer will be showing and it predicts the label and the output will be shown in form of a text as well as an audio. So I'm presenting as part of my student project for the end of my MSc course on vendor malware being present in USB devices through e-commerce platforms. The research I conducted has to do with um, the application of machine learning in predicting the risks of cancer in adults age 18 and above. I'm an overseas qualified lawyer, so I've practiced law for the past three years. And it's not been the best experience for me, mainly because I like when things are done more quickly, more efficiently. And one of the biggest tasks a lawyer could do is review documents, whether it's a contract or um, regulatory documents. And this takes up a substantial amount of a lawyer's time. So my project essentially looked at how can we streamline this process and make it more efficient, not just for the lawyer, but also for the client. I was surprised to see the audience clapping for me because um, I'm very new to programming and uh, this is like Solon taught me like how to program in Python and all those and uh, it was like a really amazing journey and ended up like having a presentation for a bigger audience and I'm so happy today. It went really, really well, I think. The audience seems to really engage with it. I think it's one of those subjects that everybody can engage in and it affects every single one of us um, who uses those devices, which is pretty much everyone. For me, it was um, a very good experience. I had the opportunity to talk to people about the research I've conducted, not because um, it's a research, because I'm talking to them about something I've also experienced, something that's shaped my life. And I'm doing my part to see how we can work together with health professionals um, to reduce the mortality and incident. This course has completely opened up new doors for me. Um, I've already been offered a position before finishing here, um, and that is in a tech job, so that's absolutely ph phenomenal, really. Um, it's really helped shape me professionally as well. I'm really comfortable doing very long hours, and I'm missing working as hard as I did in the MSc already, and it's been only a few days. I was working in a multinational company as a tester, so this course will definitely take me to a higher level. Like I do want to work as a data scientist and um, obviously I'm in love with data, like how data can be processed and how it can be further enriched and how AI can help the make a better world. My background is in finance. I'm seeing myself doing stuff in health. Um, this course actually prepared me to solve any problem in any domain I find myself. Uh, be it finance, be it health, be it education, I can apply the skills I've learned anywhere in the world to solve everyday problem people face using um, machine learning and AI. I was really excited coming here. I learned a whole lot. I think the university itself and the faculty have been really supportive in my journey, especially because I didn't have any knowledge of Python or anything before. And now I've actually, I'm actually going to be starting my new job in data science next week. So already I've you know, taken that step to transition my career. And I think Solid obviously has paid a played a big role in that. I didn't do any AI before. My bachelor's was uh, communication engineering, but uh, I found this a new thing, but Solent and my supervisor, Dr. Femi Asat, helped me a lot with my, with my working and make, make, made me like confident about my, my working and how, how can I accomplish this Thing. We will try to have this conference bi-annually or annual, on a annual basis. The interesting thing about AI is it is actually present in all disciplines. So we now use AI in health, we use AI in business, we use AI in education. So we are silent. Uh, we try to, the AI unit is looking into creating a mass project. And what we mean by mass is making silent 
a smart university, it means we are applying AI in all ramifications, so in, in timetabling, in teaching our students and every other thing. So, uh, AI is the future, it is what we need to understand and know how to apply.